Moab, Utah. I'm about to do a walkthrough of the downtown area. Before I did, I wanted to just say a few words. I'm here at the Moab Adventure Center. Let me flip around here. The Moab Adventure Center here. There is a great, great spot for you to rent your Jeep. It's called Canyonlands Jeep Rentals. And it's where I normally come. They are, uh, I think they're one of the best in town. Uh, I've shopped around a lot and I think they're one of the best uh, priced. And if you rent it over seven days, then they'll give you a discount. So uh, be sure to come out and check out Canyonlands Jeep Adventures, uh, Jeep Rentals. Uh, at the Moab Adventure Center. So this is gonna start my walk through the downtown area. I'm starting here at the Moab Adventure Center. I'm gonna go all the way down until it gets to where nothing's left but about hotels. Then I'm gonna walk all the way back up. There's a few other spots I'm gonna mention whenever I pass them, so here we go. Hope you enjoy the walkthrough. There's the Moab Adventure Center. It's really nice, they got a lot of good apparel in there, a lot of cool stuff. dinosaur they also do tours too if you don't want to rent your own you can uh, hit them up and they'll give you a uh, tour raft. do whitewater rafting too there's a breakfast place right over there I apologize it does, it's gonna get loud a few times because uh, this is like one of the only highways up north to Utah. Canyon Steak and Waffle House. If you got a little bit of time to get breakfast in the morning, that is a great place to go. We uh, we don't stop there too much because we're usually in a hurry to get out to the trails. But yeah, Canyon Steak and Waffle House. Never tried this Moab Diner, but it is a, uh, all the food places are just overcrowded. There's like not enough restaurants for uh, the people here. There's a place called Woody's Tavern. It seems to be uh, hopping in the evenings. They uh, have pool tables, cold beer. They say they have the coldest beer in town, guaranteed. So. We're gonna walk over a little uh, stream here. There's a little path below. This town is very, very bike friendly, so I'm sure it's some kind of a, a bike trail that probably leads you to uh, some sort of a bike trail system similar to what Park City, Utah has. Park City, Utah is amazing. They have a bike trail. Oh, this restaurant here is pretty good. It's pretty good Mexican uh, food. It's a uh, American Mexican food, but it is very very good. They do have some traditional dishes uh, That uh, are pretty pretty good, but it's it's safe like you know American Mexican food Pretty good. There's a cool place that makes these Metal things we'll go by on the other side and check those out <clears throat> We started kind of a little bit south and we're headed north we're gonna do a walk through and then I'm gonna come up the other side and walk through I'm gonna give you a, a good view as we cross the street of this uh, restaurant they have pizza steaks 
stuff like that. It's pretty good. They have an upper level. It's pretty cool. At night, you can sit up there, kind of watch the razors and stuff, whatnot, go by. But it's got a decent steak. We've been on a mission to find pretty good barbecue and steak, and I think we found a good barbecue spot in a. It's called, I think, Blue Pig Barbecue. It's been pretty good. There was a place called Spitfire that wasn't the best. And then there's all kinds of little trading posts and places. I guess they do a. You can rent these big old bad boys here. Trading posts. There's all kinds of food trucks out here. They're closed probably for the evening. <clears throat> We had some pretty high winds today, so the dust was in the air, so please excuse me clearing my throat or sneezing or if any of that happens. My apologies in advance, it's dusty. Some nice artwork. It's the delicate arches. It's a pretty cool little center here. They light up these lights at night. It's pretty cool. Bangkok house too. They got sushi. Heard good things about it. And then here's Dewey's restaurant and bar. So there's a bridge that's outside of town, and it was a famous bridge. It burned down, and uh, I'm sure that restaurant is named after that bridge. A lot of trails out there. I think it's off of a Highway 313, I think is what it's called. McStiff's Plaza. So here's the information center. You can get books, all kinds of cool stuff there. And I donate to national parks, a lot of cool stuff.
this is a cool store here where you can make whatever t-shirt you want. You all have t-shirt. Get anyone you make if you want. It's a really cool store I like. The store here is uh, Lima's Copanelli Grat Gallery. Copanelli is a famous bike trail that you can do here, but there's a lot of uh, native art in there, a lot of cool stuff there. So up here on the right, there's a place called Moab Garage Co. and they have really good breakfast. They have good ice cream, a lot of cool stuff, but they do have early hours, so you got to get there before three to check them out. Here's another place over here. It's called Jailhouse Cafe. It's pretty good, but you have to understand that many, many of the uh, breakfast places where you go in and sit down, it's gonna eat into your time on the trails. So you may wanna just reserve it for, you know, the last day when you're going back. Now, one exception to that is there's a place over here called Love Muffin, and they serve all kinds of different muffins and they can usually get you in and out there. You can just go in, grab them, and, uh, and be gone. I've never tried Doughbird, which is surprising because they do, they do advertise donuts on their thing, so we might have to hit that up on the way out and uh, see what they're all about. <clears throat> so we're gonna go down to probably this Wendy's down here and then I'm probably going to switch sides and then come up the other side because beyond the Wendy's is mostly just uh, hotels. Some good art. It's pretty cool. That's a really nice Jeep right there. Black Rubicon. Uh, I think this is probably a good place to flip around. I don't really. There's a Wendy's down there. There's a place called Adrift Adventures. I think they do raft tours. And Pagan Mountaineering. I'm not sure what they do. They probably have gear there for climbing maybe. All right, yeah, I made it back over to the other side. So there's this pagan mountaineering and then there's also a place you can rent uh, 
ATVs down there, the razors and all that. It's pretty cool, but it's not really worth walking all that way. I'm gonna head back up the downtown area. I'll point out any cool spots that I know of. It's definitely worth coming out and checking out yourself. I'm sure I don't know every every cool spot. But uh, this is one of my favorite places to come out to. Not necessarily for, for the downtown area, but for the trails. But these downtown walkthroughs are usually pretty popular. So I wanted to go ahead and do a downtown walkthrough so you can see what it's like. If you've made it this far, please consider uh, subscribing. I do these walkthroughs whenever I travel. Traveling is my passion. I really love to do it. And so whenever I go somewhere, I try to bring you along with me. So where I go, you go. There's some nice, nice bikes right there. Evo bikes are really, really good, high quality bikes. You're gonna see some bikes here. They're like several thousands thousands of dollars there's the love muffin place who's inside it's really good they're decorated for Halloween I'm out here in October and there's the Doberg place I'm gonna have to try that out A lot of times in the morning, these places will have big old lines, so you'll have to uh, just kind of get in line. Some of them move fast, some of them move slow. I do know that the Love Muffin line does move fast. I'm going to try to make this light. Never tried Josie Watts Krill, Josie Wyatt's. Oh, there's a food truck park over there. That's kind of new. Lots of different shops that you can find. Your Utah and Moab stuff. I've never tried this place, but it's always got a line. So I imagine it's probably good. Lots of shops with art. So this place here, the spoke, has really, really good hamburgers, and it's a pretty cool bar. But check it out really good hamburgers they got ice cream too this is up here is the best place the best place to eat in Moab bar none hands down this pasta J's up here to the right it's the best place 
Now there's going to be a long line, but they do move pretty fast and uh, it gets really busy. They get you in and you can get some really awesome Italian food. If you love mountain biking, this is a mecca. This is somewhere that you must come. You're going to see some awesome bikes. You're going to hit some awesome trails. If you like jeeping, you're also going to see some awesome trails on the jeep too. Two really awesome bikes. There's a Yeti there behind. SB150. Never ate a Glorious. Looks decent. <clears throat> Lots of shops, t shirts, all kinds of stuff available. So coming up here on the right it's a place called Zach's. It's the one that I was telling you had pretty decent steak. They also have pretty good pizza. A lot of places in Moab just kind of have a catch-all just because they lack dedicated food. So they just kind of do a catch-all to uh, <laughs> accommodate whatever anyone may want. Up here to the right is the custom windmills. Really cool, especially <laughs> with the wind going like it is today. Excuse me. <clears throat> Crossing this little creek here. There's some cool art down there below. So this is kind of a tight squeeze on this side. But if you get single file you can usually get, get by. We'll walk down here. There's like a, after this Mexican restaurant, there's a grocery store. And then really there's nothing after that too much. It's mostly just hotels after that. here we'll call it a, a video and then I'm gonna go down there and give me and Denise a t-shirt 
maybe get some other souvenirs for my familia and uh get on to the next adventure. Fiesta Mexicana. We came two years ago. Was not very impressed. If it's not under new ownership, then it may not be worth checking out. Well, El Tapatia. El Tapatia. And then there's another place further south. I forget the name of it, but it was maybe worth checking out more. To a hardware store, a general store, a grocery store. Jeep. There's a taco shop up here called Gilberto's. It's pretty good. It's worth worth trying. There's lots of pizza places. I haven't tried them. When I come out here, I usually bring my father, and he's not too terribly big on pizza, so don't really try them out. So, 300 South, this is a street that normally if you're going south, you're going to take a left. That's going to take you to a lot of cool trails, Hell's Revenge, Chicken Corners. You can keep going up this way, and then you turn in front of McDonald's up there, if you can see it. And that's called Cane Creek Road. That leads you to a lot of other trails that are on the other side of Moab. I came up here, I wanted to show you High Point Hummer and ATV. They do a lot of cool rentals. You can see a little car down there. It's a three-wheel car. So, and I forget the name of them. Like a Vanderford or Vanderfort or something like that. But you can rent those and take it up to Arches and have a lot of fun with it. If you look probably 200 feet, 300 feet, you'll see Bighorn Lodge, that's where we're staying, up there, and then there's the Canyon Pizza Co. Haven't heard, haven't tried it, haven't heard anything about it. That was an odyssey up there. That single seater. It's like a razor. It was made a long time ago, but it was just for one person, a single seater.
Gilberto's up there is really good. Quick American Mexican food. Nice Jeep. Canyon Pizza. Never had it. I don't know what these big fans are for. If somebody knows what these fans are for, comment below and let me know. Okay, as you can see there, Bighorn Lodge. That's where I'm staying. I made it back. So that was the downtown tour of Moab. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, like it.